Good day, folks. Michael J. here. How are you guys doing? Hopefully everybody's doing well. So we're going to start off with a development blog with uh, Flamu doing the uh, narrative. And it has to do with the new French cruiser line. Any questions, comments, just throw in chat. And otherwise, as is normal, remember, Bob is your uncle. Let's see. Closed test for 0.11.2. French cruisers. New French cruisers have been added to the game for testing. We're adding new researchable French cruisers to the game for an upcoming closed test session. Cherbourg. How do you pronounce that? Cherbourg? Cherbourg? Cherbourg. It's French, so it's probably something like Chaba. Because they like half the half the half the Wells and consonants are silent because it's French. Hold on. <coughs> Chebouge. Chebouge, maybe. But come on, your Finlandish uh, twist to it doesn't work today. Not this morning, buddy. Cherba? 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 Okay, I'm gonna stop saying that because it sounds dumber every time I say it. It's gonna, we're just gonna call it Cherbourg. A good point. Can we just call it ugly instead? <laughs> can, can we just call it butt ugly instead? Holy shit. Uh, Cherbourg, tier eight. A project for a super heavy cruiser. Cruiser, by the way, similar to the Dunkirk class fast battleship with a main battery consisting of the eight 305 millimeter guns. So more like battle cruiser. My God. Yeesh. Hey, yeesh. It has its own Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I mean, it's a nosing cruiser, kinda. Breast Booba Booba Tier 9 A cruiser with 330mm gun main battery guns concentrated on the bow. The ship's anti-aircraft weaponry is made up of Bofors and Oerlikan automatic guns. Is this AA power grid? Crater problem, so the solution. Hmm. Man, I feel like no matter how you look at these ships, they are not particularly sleek nor beautiful. Everything about it just looks mismatched. Yikes. It looks just... The turrets look somehow oversized. The superstructure looks undersized. And then the funnel kind of just sticks out like... Yeesh. No matter how I look at it, it's not a particularly good looking ship. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, a division of two breasts. That's gonna be a strong offensive. A battle of the bulge, so to say. Hmm, that should be interesting. If you make too much fun of the division, is that breast shaming? I don't know. Truly, a lot of a lot of potential memory here. <laughs> a lot of potential memory here. Hmm. 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 <laughs> kind of yes, Jesus. Hmm. Interesting. Marseille, tier nine. Eesh. Eesh. Good morning, my dear. Jesus. I... Ew. A super heavy cruiser with a displacement over 30,000 cruiser, by the way. The main armament consists of nine 330 mm guns placed in three turrets on the bow. Mm. 
My god, this thing is ugly. Mike. Eesh. I thought the other one looked mismatched, but everything about this is like this super structure shape. Like it's it's got a, like a box and then like a ta water tower here. The turret setup. It just eesh. Jeez. Hmm. Thank you, big guy. And I pirate. Man, this is this is a level of ugly I honestly wasn't prepared for. Jesus. Because French ships generally they're pretty sleek and nice in this ship in, in this game. Like the French DDs look great. The French cruisers look pretty awesome. Even the battleships like uh, Richelieu. Uh, Alsace, even Republic is like pretty sleek looking ship. That's a lot of broadside as well. My god. This new branch of ships will find a home beside the existing branch of the French cruisers. The distinctive features of these large cruisers are their speed, thanks to the traditionally French improved engine brews, and their large and their large number of powerful guns with a long reload time which is compensated with a main battery reload booster. However, they cannot boast of having strong armor. Because of this, coupled with their large size, they are quite vulnerable to HE shells. The preferred combat distance is medium and long range, but thanks to the 139mm secondaries with increased accuracy, or oh, it's got increased accuracy, interesting. These cruisers can also prove themselves in close quarters combat. Hmm. So, fast, shit armor, Vulnerable to HE, so I assume 60 second fires. But if you have to brawl, it's got built in um, secondary dispersion. Hmm. And they do have main battery reload booster for the brawl. This is weird. We'll see. French cruiser Toulon. Toulon? 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 Toulon, whatever. The project of a battleship with a displacement of 17.5, well, 17,500 tons, that's very light, which was actually closer to a super heavy cruiser. The main purpose envisioned for the ship was to counter the Washington Treaty cru cruisers. Toulon is the first large cruiser to appear at Tier 7. It is armed with powerful main battery guns and a rich choice, which is super cruiser at Tier 7. Oh shit. And a rich choice of consumables for her tier. Main battery reload booster, repair party hydro, and fighter. Reload booster and repair for tier 7 cruiser? That's really power creep. Like, already getting a heal at tier 8 is reserved for the premiums or the light ships like Edinburgh. But. The rest of them getting one at tier 7? Jesus. The turrets aren't quite as comically oversized, so it looks a bit sleeker. The large cruisers of this branch are based on the designs developed by French engineers in the 1920s and 30s, the very same ones that the famous Dunkirk and Strasbourg or originated from. Perhaps as a way of highlighting just how innovative the ships really were, they received rather unusual names. Oddly enough, by the 1930s, the French Navy had virtually no history of naming its capital ships after cities. In addition to the dreadnought Paris, Paris, which entered service in 1914, only two other battleships were planned to begin construction in 1915 with the names Lyon and Lille, though they were cancelled due to the outbreak of the First World War. It may be that Paris, Paris was named not strictly after the bustling French capital itself, but perhaps as a tribute to the memory of the four mid-18th century ships of the line that served successfully under the names Ville de Paris. This name, like Ville de Marseille, was originally granted to the ship as a gesture of gratitude for the patriotic gesture of these respective cities' citizens who, did, who donated their own money to fund the construction of these mighty sailboats. However, the logic behind naming ships after other cities beyond those two is not clear at first glance unless you're looking from the sea. Lille? It's not Lille, it's Lille. 
like Lil Vane, Lil Perry, Lil Marseille. Okay, good to know. Of course, Dunkirk is the most understandable of all. Remembered in the annals of naval history as a hive of French corsairs in the service of the Sun King, Louis XIV, back in the 17th century. By the time the battleship was laid down in 1932, however, the public's view of the city had evolved to encompass more recent historical happenings. Dunkirk was now also considered the most honored port of France, renowned for the heroism of its inhabitants during the Great War, the country's third largest harbor after Marseille and Le Havre, and one of the largest naval bases in France. Be Thank you, Paratemore. Uh, becoming in 1939 the headquarters of the commanding officer of the French forces of the English Channel and North Sea. Okay, so this is just a lot of lot of history about them. A lot of just a lot of history, not so much about the ships, but how their justification for naming it. Interesting. I can check that later. Thank you, Sefer, for the 44 months. Mm. Cherbourg is the largest historical and modern naval base and fortress of France since the time of the Marshal Vauban and Emperor Napoleon I, a port and military shipbuilding center. Founded by Cardinal Richelieu, the main naval base of the Marine Nationale Atlantic Fleet. Okay. Marseille is simply the main seaport of the country and the largest city. Ship characteristics. Oh boy. It's interesting how sometimes they go so ham on the history like this. And then other times they're just like, or they try to like justify it with history, and other times they're just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> okay. French cruiser Cherbourg, tier 8. 25 millimeter plating for a tier 8 cruiser, that's not bad. 49.5k health is a shit ton for a tier 8 cruiser. That's among the highest, I think. Like, objectively, among the highest. 2x4, 305s, 17.7 game range, that's pretty good. Mm, fire chance is garbage. For this large of a gun, fire chance is trash. Um, reload 25. That's pretty slow for 8 guns. The DPM values are probably gonna be pretty shit. Fast turrets, okay, Sigma. Do we know if these have battlecruiser or battleship dispersion? I assume battlecruiser because they're cruisers. I assume battlecruiser dispersion. It would make sense because they are cruisers. Right? Battlecruiser dispersion? Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Secondary ornament. Mm. AA. 6 cam range. That's nice. 90% hit probability. That's also nice. Not gonna defend against much with this, but you got four flak with good accuracy. They confirm uh, battle cruiser dispersion. Fair enough. Maximum speed thirty one point nine. That's pretty slow for supposed. Fa wasn't one of their gimmicks supposed to be speed for a cruiser? Do we know if this speed engine boost is a standard engine boost of eight percent or is it a special? Uh, Engine booster 20 or 15, because French have had both 20, 15, and 8. They get the 20. They get the 20. Okay, they get the 20. Interesting. Interesting. So it's entirely reliant on that. So let's see. We do. Where's our calculator? We do 31 point. What was it? 9 times 1.05 times 1.05. And we get 40 knots 40 knots that's no meme that's fast that's goddamn fast that's goddamn fast so the thing does 40 knots 40 knots at tier 8 with heal and main battery reload booster turning circle is honestly incredible 670 for real? That's an incredible turning circle. What? 
I don't even know what we can close at tier 8 to. 670. Shit, like, that's like... Wichita, maybe. No, it's better turning than Wichita. And Wichita, Wichita is literally the agile Baltimore. Jesus. It turns better than Akizuki. It sits between Akizuki and Asashi, turning circle. Jesus. So, so turning circle is incredible. Roger shift 12.5. It's, eh, it's not that good. But once you start turning, it's quite nice. 15.7. 15.7. What do we end up at? 15.7 times uh, camo, times concealment expert, times concealment module. 12.3 concealment. That's pretty okay. 12.3 with 40 knots of speed, reload booster, and battleship guns. And the heal. Shit. This is pretty nasty to deal with at tier 8. Hmm. God damn. And a lot of health. Jesus. Kind of scary. It's like a cruiser shot Bart at tier 8. Hmm. Seems really powerful. Really powerful. Like, if you're running, pushing down a flank in a cruiser, and this thing comes at you at 40 knots, the fuck do you do? By the time you turn, start turning, he already sees you. I guess you try to... I mean, you can angle against his AP, to be fair. He doesn't overmatch you, so you just kite and HE spam, I guess. He will burn. And it's cruiser, so he can't spec fire prevention. So burning him is going to be effective. Provided you survive turning away. That's really the thing. If you don't survive turning away, you're fucked. Six to second bars. Yes, that's what I said. Could be interesting, could be interesting. Seems sketch. Breast. 55.3k health. That's a lot of health. Still 25, becoming more of a vulnerability at tier 7, or tier 9, sorry. <coughs> Huge fire chance buff. Huge. Fire chance literally doubles from 17 to. 35 so H is actually a viable option on breast <clears throat> Reload 25 interesting Shell velocity quite nice as well, especially And you can H pen a lot of things Hello Midori mm. Interesting AA Six flak, 90% accuracy, six him range. This thing is pretty strong AA for the for the tier. 31.5, so you're gonna do about 40 knots in this thing as well. A bit less. Insane turning circle still. 720? Jesus. 15.1 surface detect. What was this one? 15 wow. 15.1? 15.1? Eleven nine, kind of scary. Kind of scary. Once again, all the consumables. Hmm. Interesting. The scariest part, really, I think, running into these if you're angled, is that you have to look at the ship. Like holy shit! Imagine you're just chilling, you're having a good time, you're enjoying yourself on the flank. And then this thing pops up around the corner, and you're like, oh, Jesus. Like, holy shit, what the fuck is that? Okay. A tier 10 cruiser Marseille. 66.9, so 67k health. That's a lot of health. 
That's a lot of goddamn health, Jesus. Fire duration 60 seconds, 3x3, 330, fire range 19.6. Note that this thing can turn all his guns forward. This is not the fucked uh, Izuma situation where one turret is here and pointing backwards. All guns point forward. So you can turn angled one way, shoot all your guns, then turn the other way and shoot all your guns. Like you can you can keep your guns on target while doing doing this zigzag shit. This is Nilsson esque. So that's a huge advantage. Should be mentioned. That's a huge advantage. 24 second reload as well. Thank you, Marvin. Provided you get you run reload booster, because your range is your range is 19 and 6. And you get you you have AR. This will easily dip below 20 seconds. Easily. This will easily dip below 20 seconds. And uh, if you pop reload booster on top of that, you you have 10 second reload on nine 330 millimeter guns. That's gonna be quite quite scary. Hmm. This is interesting. 8.3 came range base. So full build, this is what, 11.5? I think it's 11.5 range on secondaries. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. 139 millimeter guns. What kind of pen do you get out of 139s? I don't think it's that good. When you only pen DDs. You only pen DDs. Not that impressive. Thank you, Liber Bubonicus. Hmm. 10.5? Is it 10.5 with? Wait, do, do you, wait, you don't have the captain perk on, on cruisers, do you? That's the problem. You know, yeah, 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 you don't have the secondary range. I'm thinking of battleships, but you don't get the secondary range. You only get the flag plus module. You only get flag plus uh, module. So it's only about 10, yeah. It's only about 10. Interesting. Still. Oh. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? 14.8? What is this? Eleven six conceal. 33 knots. 33 knots. 41.6. Forty-one point six with a concealment of eleven six. Jesus, you're gonna be in secondary range instant. Shit, you're gonna you can brawl you can get in brawling range very quickly with anything you want. The thing is, do you want to get in brawling range? That's the question. You can't probably drive by a lot of battleships thanks to the AP, but unless you have some real bullshit armor, they can smash you pretty goddamn hard as well. So. And I don't, I'm not sure how much you want to sit and tank any battleships nosing with this armor. Hmm. A lot of potatoes are going to ram in this thing for sure. But I mean, with this turning circle? And reload booster. It's quite a scary drive-by ship. Hmm. Thank you, Scammy Russian Company. I feel like this is a kind of scary thing to run into in a battleship. Shit, it's kind of scary to run into a lot of in, in a lot of cruisers as well, if especially if you don't have uh, torpedoes. That's gonna scare the shit out of you. Out of you. Cool one. If it has any anything like black hole armor, then that's gonna be scary. Territories is garbage. Thirty six. It is kind of garbage for a cruiser. You're right, actually. He he's not wrong because you gotta remember. That running uh, the reload module has the major downside of nerfing your turret traverse. Mm. 
is it's blocking chat. I can make it a bit smaller. Shit, I don't know where it is now. Whatever, I don't give a shit. Uh, I can I can figure out. I can sort the pop out pop up later. Can you really drive by in this thing? It's so fast and it handles well, and it has enough caliber to citadel basically anything. I don't see why you couldn't. Interesting. And then we finally have the two loon. Zhao health pool at tier 7. 305 millimeter guns at tier 7. Good range. 1.9 sigma. 28 second reload. This is not very impressive. It doesn't have the speed boost. But it does 30 knots. Handles well. Good run. 11.5 conceal. Jesus. What the shit is this? How do 305mm guns have an 8.8k of smoke farm penalty? What? This is bullshit. How the hell does that work? Damage control, hydro, fighter, reload booster, and three charges of heal. Jesus. Wait, how much are you healing with this thing? You're healing 28 times 2125 times healing flag. You're healing 7k and you're gonna run superintendent because of all the consumables. Jesus. So you got potential effective health of about 70k health in this thing. And it's a tier 7 cruiser. Yeesh. Yeesh. That's kind of terrifying. I mean, what are tier 7 cruisers? Like, you're gonna run into this thing in New York? It's got 11.5 conceal as well, so it outspots most, most of them, doesn't it? It outspots most of them. You run into this thing in a York? You run into this thing in a in a Shores? What the shit? Algeria will run into this? Like Zara? These aren't even close to being competitive with this thing, are you shitting me? New Orleans Lena, like Jesus. And the caliber is I mean tier seven cruisers have Tier 7 cruisers have 16mm plating. 16mm plating. And this thing had what? 305s? It overmatches 21. It overmatches 20. It overmatches all the cruisers. Jesus. It overmatches every cruiser it faces, and it has a heal and reload booster. This thing is bullshit. Shit, tier seven, tier seven battleships have twenty six millimeter, but it will overmatch lower tier battleships. God damn. This thing looks like power creep on crack. This thing. Power creep on crack. 11.5 conceal as well. Like 11.5 times. And then concealment module. <laughs> 10 kim conceal? 10 kim conceal? With guns that overmatch you. I can't even reach. Like my shores and lazo reaches eleven five. No module. I didn't. I didn't count in module. I counted in uh, the fucking captain perk. Stop! I right, stop being idiots. Stop being idiots. I only counted in the fucking captain perk. 
You said module? Whatever, I only included one. Jesus, but that's terrifying. That's actually terrifying, like... Holy shit. Wait, what was the concealment? It outspots Fiji. It outspots concealment build Fiji. What? Bro, how is this thing not complete horseshit? How is this thing not complete horseshit? It's actually complete horseshit. It outspots over matches and outspeeds the Fiji. And Fiji is considered nuts for the... Fuck it, out heals the Fiji as well. <laughs> what? And a rich choice of consumables. Jesus. Yeah, this thing is uh, cracked. Uh, based on the these numbers, this thing is cracked. There's no way this can go through like this, right? This thing looks completely cracked. Jesus. Holy shit. Did it also have Hydra? So you can't even... Wait, did it, no way it had Hydra as well, did it? Right? Did it have a Hydra? No way it had a Hydra. So you can't, like... So you can't, you even get torqued by it in a, in, in, in a... No way. Did it have... I don't think it had Hydra, right? Did it? No way it had Hydra. Surely not. Oh shit, it does have fucking... It's faster than most DDs. No wait, no, it's not faster, it's only third notes. This thing at least didn't have speed boost, but it does have hydro. Holy shit. This thing is bonkers. This thing is bonkers. Good lord. Let's see. Closed test for 0.11. Okay, there you have it, folks. The French cruiser line. Now, what do you think? You think these things are going to get nerfed or what? I'd be inclined to believe these are going to get nerfed. Like, uh, this is just friggin' wargaming. They're just friggin' come out with this stuff out of left field, left, right, and center. And, uh, Man, it's just like a friggin' being on a rubber raft with holes, and you got uh, 20 holes in the, the base of the raft, and you got six patches, and then you're waiting for more patches to come, and you're promising even more to patch all the holes, and nothing ever gets patched. It's just a constant uh, seesaw back and forth. Go figure. <clears throat> So go figure. And that's why we say all roads lead to Putin. So now you know. All roads lead to Putin. And what we're going to do now, going into battle, <clears throat> do a couple battles in the Minotaur. So this is the Tier 10 British cruiser. The Minotaur. So enjoy questions, comments, throw in chat, and remember, Bob's your uncle. Okay, you're going into battle in the Minotaur there, folks. The Minotaur, monsieur. The Minotaur. The Minotaur. Yeah. Hipper doodle. Okay, what do we got here? <clears throat> How is it looking, folks? Oh my.
Okay, so we're gonna use the over-the-ear cans this time. Z the over the ear cans. You know what they are. You know what they are, don't you? Oh yeah. Z over the ear cans. Indeed. Okay. So we're heading to where are we heading to? I have no friggin' idea. Where am I headed to? A. Friggin' no help here at all. Holy crap. That is not good. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, folks. You never know. You might get lucky. Wonder if I should have taken radar instead of, or sorry, yeah, radar instead of smoke, hydro and radar. That's pretty cool. Smokestack, our little village. <laughs> Coolio. We got stuff heading our way, a couple of Hanovers. A couple of heavy dudes. The ship is on fire. Problem solved, sir. Smoke screen set. Torpedoes astern.
has taken the lead. Smoke generator started. Enemy cruiser detected. The enemy is about to win. Torpedoes astern. Torpedoes to starboard. Crap. Did I get what I needed? <clears throat> Not if we had a one, I would have. Damn. Well, Pilgrim, that didn't go all that well, did it? Oh, crap. Oh, the crap. Oh, the crap, Harley. Burgers. Try this again. <clears throat> try it again. Let's see what we can do, lads. Try, try again. See what we can do. See what we can do. It's getting late. Holy crap. Holy moly. <clears throat> starts.
Attention. Reporting the target position. Provide anti-aircraft fire support. Reporting provide anti-aircraft fire support. Smoke generator started. How it's done. Enemy battleship sighted. Dead ahead. Torpedoes to starboard.
Predator started. Oh, friggin' thing. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes, direct front. 
Smoke generator started. We're hold below the water line. We're flooding quickly. Problem solved, sir. Smoke screen set. Main turret, critical damage! Solved, sir. work.
Okay, there you have it. <clears throat> there you have it, folks. That's the Tier 10 Minotaur. The British Cruiser, Tier 10 Minotaur. You're either a hero or a bum in it. It's, uh, I like cruisers. I prefer cruisers over any other class type. And uh, sometimes when I get on a roll with the ship, you know what happens? You know, the Minotaur is a glass cannon. But if you get in the right situations, it's a great ship. Um, so I, I prefer, I like cruiser play. I hope you enjoyed that because uh, that's what I like doing. Sometimes you get good games, sometimes you don't. Just like an Almond's Joy nut. Almond Joy chocolate bar commercials. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that. That's the Tier 10 British Cruiser, the Minotaur. It's uh, not the easiest ship to play. But anyways, uh, I'm going to be signing off early today for two reasons. One is my uh, landlord's decided to do some renovations upstairs. Noisy as all friggin' crap. And secondly, I'm going to be going live shortly with uh, Viva Fry. That's uh, David, Montreal uh, litigation lawyer. And uh, doing an update live. He's going to be on the streets of uh, Ottawa. We're going to be doing live an update on what's going on with the uh, trucker situation in Ottawa. So remember, folks, stay, uh, stay safe. Your health is priceless. Sending you love and peace. Love and peace to everybody. Bless you all. Take care. Love you all. And uh, talk to you soon. Ciao for now. Oh, yeah, one other thing. We'll be live again tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. with Warships. And uh, keep the faith, folks. Sending you love. Ciao for now. Hey, Juan Carlo, glad to see you, sir. Juan Carlos Molina Morales. Thank you very much for joining. It's always good to, to get a shout out from Juan. All the best to you and your family, Juan. We'll be talking to you, uh, hopefully talking to you soon, brother. Take care and ciao for now. Stay safe, eh?